Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to install or uninstall Microsoft.NET Framework 2 or 3 in Windows 11 and 10, actually. So basically, this is handy if you're running an older game in a newer operating system and perhaps Microsoft.NET isn't working for you and you have to get a specific version. This should hook you up, and we'll discuss, after I show you how to do that, a couple other possible options to solve your problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a control panel. We can do that by, there's a couple ways. We can use search, Windows key plus S, for example. It just starts typing control, and it should show right up. There's your control panel right there. We want to click on programs and then programs and features. I'm going to do this to small icons. If you see this, go ahead and click here at programs. If you have small or large icons like that, then once again, we're looking for programs and features right here. And as you can see, <clears throat> we're going to turn Windows features on or off. That brings this up, and there is your .NET Framework 3.5. As you can see, it includes 2 and 3. So all you got to do is check that box right there. Go ahead and click OK. And you're going to wait while it searches for files. Let Windows Update do it for you. Go ahead. Now you're just going to have to wait while Windows downloads required files and you can click close when it's done and you're all set. That will give you two and three. So while that's happening, I'm going to explain to you everything else. No big deal. Understanding.net, if you have a problem, is pretty important. So they've made some changes over time. For example, if you have right here, this is the big rule right here. This should fix you up in most cases. If you need .NET 3.5 or older, 3.5 should take care of that. If you need three, anything above .NET 3.5, then you would download 5.0. So what we did when we wrote these tutorials some months ago is I put all the files up because sometimes it doesn't work right. So let's say you've got a game and it requires .NET Framework Redistributable 1.1. Click Download Now right here and get it. Again, we just made sure they're here so you have the option because it's no big deal for the most part. Pretty rare, so again, just keep in mind the golden rule .NET. If you need 3.5 or older, get 3.5. If you need anything newer than 3.5, get 5. And then if you can't find it, just come here and get what you need. As always, that link is in the video description down below. And I'll usually put a link in the video. It shows up under an I where you click the I over here somewhere. And then you click the I again, or uh, the link inside the I. And once it expands, you get over here to this page, which you can find your way to these, or just go ahead and search for it. No big deal. That's about it. Piece of cake. That should get you hooked up. It's probably done over here. Let's take a look. Still going. So anyway, when it's done, you'll be able to click close. So I guess the good thing I went ahead and explained all this over here because we'd still be sitting here looking at a scroll bar. So we'll see if we were finish it up anyway. There it is. Windows completed the requested changes. Close. Close the control panel. Should get the job done for you. All right, guys, you know the drill. Bottom right corner is the subscribe button. Click like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya.